Hey, one more thing I want to tell you about today. Um, we got a small block Chevrolet engine out here. We've done the machine work on it. Uh, this is going to be a 383, so we're going to put some performance parts on it. One of the things that we need to make sure we do on this block, now this block has been bored, it's a fresh 30 over, we just got done milling the surfaces, so we got some really nice solid machine work here. This boss right here on the block can cause you a problem simply because the double roller timing chain when we put it on this block, it will actually interfere with this boss and the chain or the gear when you put it on will actually start shaving metal off of here. These metal shavings will get down into your oil pan and your bearings and destroy them. So before we put a double roller timing chain on this block, we're going to have to relieve this area. And I'll show you how we do that real quick. We just take our tool. pretty simple but it's absolutely essential that this is done. Another thing that we want to do here is uh, we want to we want to tap these holes. Now the front galley plug holes on the small block Chevrolet takes a little press in plug or a little um, it, it's, it's like an expansion plug only a miniature version of it and they just press into these holes there's no threads or anything. When you upgrade your oiling system, uh, build a high performance engine, you're probably going to have, you know, excessive oil pressure. Not excessive, but more oil pressure, more pressures, higher RPM. So we want to actually thread these holes. So if you take a look, I've got a, I've got a quarter inch pipe plug here. If you get a quarter inch pipe plug, you don't have to drill these holes out at all. The existing factory holes are perfect. So you just take your quarter inch pipe plug, you stick it in there and you tap these holes. Now, of course, after you do this, we're going to have to final wash everything. We're going to have to super clean this block. We'll run it through the jet washer and then final wash it with hot water and soap. But you can see that if we just take a quarter inch pipe tap, it's real simple to go ahead and thread these holes. We want to go in most of the way because we want the plugs to be flush. So we go in until we get our tap to about right there. We're just three or four threads away from the end. And usually that will put your pipe plug flush. Take your tap off of there. And voila, you've got a threaded hole. You can do that to all three of these. GM was nice enough to make this... Uh, hole from the factory just perfect for a quarter inch pipe tap so it works out really well so we can go ahead and tap these and then you got plugs pipe plugs in the front of your block the blocks been relieved so you don't have any issues with clearances um, and it's pretty much standard procedure for any build that you want to do this so just a couple things that are notable on a small block Chevrolet that we want to make sure that we do when we put it together and hopefully this gives you a little insight